What's going on everybody, Sambo here, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Look at those cars up there, looks like they have no wheels. That's interesting. Hmm. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be basically putting in as many buses, maybe a few tram lines as well throughout the entire map. So there's a lot to do. As you can see here, I've already put in one. Um, reason being, I just wanted to make sure I remember how to do it. Um, I hadn't played the game in like two weeks or so. Um, yes, yeah, so I just put that in just to make sure I know what I'm doing and just to see how it all works. And yeah, I'm rambling, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it now since this is only 1951 yes um, we don't really have many buses so this is actually the most modern bus that we have and um if i go into i just realized this you can if you, if you go into this first person mode and turn around you can actually like go in and have a look and like oops how do i do <laughs> there we go hello there you can actually go in there look at her Oh, she looks so done. She's like, oh, can this bus go any slower? She's up the bus there. Oops, now we can't see what's going on. Hello there. She looks really done as well. Oh, it must be because the bus is so slow. But I'm wondering if, um, oops, there we go. It's only going 40 kilometers an hour. So I think, first of all, we need to up upgrade this road. So this is um, a little bus line that I made going from this town over here. So just to show you where, you are, where we are, this is the big town here and we have that little train line that comes over here. And so I've made the, um, the bus line go from the train line over to this town over here to St. Louis, but it is just one big dirt line. So I think we need to upgrade that one just to make it go a little bit faster. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do that's 60 kilometers an hour. Um, I think 80 kilometers an hour is pretty good because it is still a pretty wonky road. So let's just upgrade that like that and it'll get them going a little bit faster because I mean, going 30 kilometers all that way, 30 kilometers an hour all that way. Oof, that's pretty boring. <laughs> it's pretty boring. Like you don't have your phones, your iPhones and whatever back then. So you just had to sit there and look at look out the window. That's why that lady was looking so depressed. But they should be going a bit faster now. If I click on you, get in there. <laughs> Maybe because it's going uphill a little bit. So at least it's gone up from 40 kilometers an hour. But anyway, so that line is done. Just to show you guys what it looks like, there it is. So it just does a little loop, comes down here to the train station. Um, I didn't put the bus stop on this main road here just because of obvious reasons. That's a main road, like I said. So I just put the bus stop over there out of the way. And um, I'll try to do that for a lot of the towns as well. So the other town that we need to upgrade is this one over here. So first of all, let's upgrade that road again because obviously <laughs> going really, really, really slow. It's not going to be very good for anyone so there's that one over there now we do have a bus depot over here so i assume i can just use the same one again so let's do uh, a little bus line um first of all let's just have a look at the areas that we have so uh we've got a bit of an industrial area over here and then the rest is pretty much just residential we've got some commercial over here as well okay so we can do a little bit of a loop. So I'm going to do two lines for this town. Um, whoops. I think I need to put in the bus. Yeah, I need to put in the bus stops first, don't I? My bad. Okay. So it's just going to be a simple loop going that way. Um, and then I think if I go straight down through there, it'll probably grab most of the citizens. I'm looking for like the white, the whiteness, because that shows the coverage of um, the bus stop. So since this isn't a very busy area, I'm going to put a bus stop on this main road up through here. And then that'll basically be it for that one. Um, and then I'll also do this stop here, which would be the one that will go all the way down to the other big city, which you guys will see in a second. Okay, so the first line is going to be this one that just goes up and around and basically just does a little loop around the town, collects everybody up. Um, nothing too fancy, just maybe one or two buses for that one. Um, but that should help get all of the people to wherever they want to go just around the town. So easy peasy. And we'll do the bus stop for that in a second. And then I'll grab this other little bus stop here. 
that one so it's on the opposite side of where the, the bus loop goes and then this one will go all the way down 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 over to can I add it to an existing stop that one there yes I can perfect good very very good so again we're using that existing bus stop that isn't right on the train line and then it goes back over to here sorry for like the jumpy mouse movement so back over to here and there we are so pretty simple now let's go over to our bus depot which is just over here that one right there and again we're just going to get maybe well first of all i'll get two for the town the town is the brown one so i better select all and do the brown one and then for the long distance one oops i'm already in it let's do another let's just do three i suppose look at those old ones <laughs> or strong carriage wow so we'll do those three there and we'll select all and line eight okay there we go so it might take a little while for them to get over there i was thinking maybe i should do a little just connect the road up through here because like that's that's a long way to go around like we could easily do a little dirt road that just goes through there and it won't be too intrusive so i'm just going to do that quickly there we go just a little road just to make it a little bit more well just more well connected basically so let's um, move on to the next area we'll come back to that so our new buses are over here one thing i did notice when they actually come out of the depot they kind of spread themselves out like if you look at like for example in city skylines like a lot of the buses they just come out straight after each other and there's no like buffer between them but i noticed with this one sometimes well when i did the first one when i did the first one they all kind of spread out which is really cool and just good a good thing to have so i'm hoping they will do that so by the time they get maybe like down here maybe some will go down here some will go down there through the town and so forth and go basically all over just so they're not all clumped together there we go a little bit messy but i mean that's the best i could do so it will start over here go up here and up through this industrial area come down here through the residential area it'll meet up with the other bus stops and the train station come down here go to the industrial area this little housing area and then go back down to this industrial commercial area so it kind of it kind of covers everything i assume that's pretty much all of it covered enough um so again we need to go over to our depot and i think for that one we'll get I mean, I'm probably overspending, but let's just get five buses because I want it to be well connected. So there's five, and then it will be the blue one, I assume. I assume it's the blue one. Yep, it's the blue one there. Okay, there we go. Good. I like doing buses. I like it. And then connecting it up to the existing infrastructure. Ugh, I like it a lot. Now for this one, I'm thinking of actually doing a tram straight down the middle here. And even though this is like the main road of the city um or maybe hang on which one is the main road of the city let's look at the road map so it's pretty much there's no real traffic issues all of it's pretty good there's no congestion so it's not really too concerning where it goes and there's also no through traffic and what i mean through traffic is traffic that goes from this side that goes all the way through to the other side um so yeah i think let's just do a tram now i don't know if trams have to loop or they can just do a single line i guess we'll find out in a second so let's put down our tram depot i'll just pause it hopefully that'll make it less like jumpy and laggy for you guys so the tram line can start now can i put it over here or is that too steep oh it's a little bit steep can i put you there yes can I? Yes. Is that alright? That's good, I think. I like these trees, by the way. It looks good. Um, we don't really need that road up there, do we? So, <laughs> There we go. Okay, now we need to choose our street, which will be that one. And I believe we just go over here and press yes with the tram, then update. So, unfortunately, it's going to demolish the buildings, some of them, but that's what we got to do that's what we got to do to help get all these people around the town so down 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 straight down the heart of our town down here actually I might make it go this way that way that way 
and we can maybe loop it back that way. I mean, there's really not much traffic, so we can pretty much do anything. Okay, so how do we do the tram stops? That's my next question. So we use those ones again. Interesting. Okay, so we can do that one there, which covers that much. That's a pretty good amount, I think. And then I need to make sure I get them get these on the right side. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter for this one because we're doing on doing both sides. So we'll do that one there and that one there. Go up a couple blocks. We'll do that one there, that one there. I mean, it's covering a lot, a pretty good amount. I mean, there's just a few little areas on the outskirts that it's not covering, but we can get that with maybe an outer bus loop or something. That one, that one, that one. and that'll do. Straight down the middle. And so now that we've done that, I believe I just connect it up. Can I connect it like this? Yes, good. Good, good, good. There we go. Easy little tram line goes straight down to the train station, which is what we want. And um, I think I'll just do an outer bus loop as well. That'll come down to the, the train line and then it'll also meet up with these tram stations up here as well. But before I do that, I better just quickly get a tram. So this is our, oh, this is our tram. Okay. I haven't, I haven't actually done a tram yet. So let's do, we'll do, um, do three three of those and we are doing the purple line I, you can name these but I'm not really gonna name those so there we go oops unable to find path to stop missing electric tracks oh my bad we need to update these to electrical okay so I, I, I didn't press electrical so I just update update those again so let's check out our trams let's just Go in, have a look as they come out. Hello there, trams. What is the capacity on them? 21. That's all right with me. Off they go. Down the city centre. Look at that. Ah, like it. Stop there, Mr. Carr. Mia Collins pulling out. Oh my god. All right, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll need more. Maybe we'll need less. Um, now, next, I'm just going to quickly do the bus loop around the town. And I'll be back in a second. It is our little bus line. So it's just this lighter color here. It goes around the basically just the outskirts of the area, collects some of those people. It meets at the tram stations up here and also meets down at the train station with the trams again. So hopefully that will cover basically everything for this big city. Well, it's not a big city actually, but we'll come back to everything and let's move on to the next one. So I'm just having a look at our, um, our finances so basically we're starting to make a lot more money through tickets so this is for the buses here um, obviously this part here <laughs> really not making much money but if you look at the difference it's kind of going down I suppose this has gone up significantly if we look at the trains um, it's also going up as well so I'm, I'm assuming it's gone up because we're funneling all of those people on the buses to the actual train stations um, so obviously all of those costs go up because there's more people accessing all of those uh, overall you know a lot of money lost because we did a huge investment we're still going to do more but hopefully uh, everything will keep increasing that's what I like to see even though it's not really that important um, right now because I'm just like learning and playing but yeah hopefully hopefully we'll still make some money overall and that 10 million hopefully that'll go away as well okay so the final areas we have to do is Baton Rouge Newark we have to do our big well I'm just gonna call it this the city and that's it isn't it that's it that one uh let's just have a look at everything quickly sorry if it's jumpy again but so we have that one done over here this one i didn't need anything this one's done with the trams and the buses this one has the bus and the trains bus over here bus over here with the inner bus area all right two little areas to go and then we'll call it a day let's do this one quickly and then we'll go 
do um, the city. So again, uh, just maybe a bus line. No, I don't need to do another bus depot over here. So I'm guessing that kind of shows. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> we're just doing the. We're just focusing on the passenger ones at the moment. So we have our actually. I'll move that one. And I'll put that bus stop right there, right in front of it. Perfect. We'll do that one there. Um, I don't know, come down here, I suppose. We've got the industrial area, so we can make it go there, bypassing, going past, not bypassing, but going past. Those one, those one, those ones. And that should be good enough for them. Oops. So we shall get you, you, and you. You. So again, just a little bus loop. We can probably do maybe two buses for this one and that's basically it. Just as long as it connects up to um, our our bus, uh, not bus, our train station. Now where is a depot? I need to find a depot. <laughs> Ah, here's a depot. So we shall just get two of those again. One, two. We'll buy those. Um, select all. And on to line 13. Done. Alright, so that's that guy done over there. And now the last one. Dun, dun, dun. The city. Oh my god. Here we go. Nah, it won't be so bad. I just need to think what I'm doing first of all. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing, which... Might seem a little bit extreme, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm thinking the tram depot might go down here, and then the tram will go up along here, and then it'll go past here, so then it can connect to the bus, uh, not the bus, the train station. Come up here a little bit. I don't want it to go on the main road, so I'll maybe make it go here, then turn right, and then go over here, da -da 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 down, down, and then basically stop there, and the rest we can just do with the buses. So that's the plan for that. All right, you guys, here is our tram line, just to show you guys. Up here, goes past the train, up there, and basically goes back the way that it came. And I put on, I think, eight trams, which might seem like a lot, but once it's, once it's all spread out, um, it shouldn't be too crazy. Now, next, I'm just gonna throw down a few different buses. So if we just, for well, bus lines, if we just look at it like this, um, what I might do is maybe mm, I have kind of two options. I can kind of do like little groups. So like I could do one here that kind of funnels them back to um, the tram line and then the tram becomes like the main bit of transport. And then for example, I'd do another one here that kind of goes around and funnels them back up to the tram again. Or I can do some that goes along like this and just straight up and down like that. So I'll think about it for a second and get back to you guys because I'm not sure which one will be best for the city yet. All right, you guys, look at all of that and then look, look at all these coming down. Oh my God, here they all come. <laughs> so again, this is 1951. So these are the newest buses. I actually like how they look, to be honest. I like it. So what? Um, the trams are already out there, so they're out there and going. And what I ended up doing for the bus lines is basically big loops, which I know some of you are like, that doesn't, doesn't exist. Um, you know, and just because you haven't seen something doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? So um, there's definitely bus lines that do loop, and that's something that you guys have always been battling me with for some reason, because I literally used to go on bus lines that loop, so... <laughs> Ooh, and I can literally point it out if some of you need to see that. Anyway, so we have this one that just basically goes through the big industrial area. Well, I mean, you guys can see, they just loop around and they meet up at the tram lines and the the train station as well. So keeping it very simple, uh, I made sure everything is pretty much well spread out, I think. Um, in terms of like all the bus stops and the tram stops and things like that. So it should be pretty well covered. Um, let's have a look at up here. So the traffic is actually getting better. Uh, this, this road down here used to be quite bad. Same with this one up here. So it's, it's not that yuck color anymore. Um, what else can we look at? That's just showing you guys where all the stations are. If you want to kind of see, you can pause if you want to see that in more detail. Um, 
and then the cargo where well, we don't need that one yet and then that one public transport I mean this one is really kind of confusing I suppose but at least it shows where all the residential is and um, I'm not sure what these numbers mean just yet does that mean how many people I don't know like for example it's saying for four people using private transport or can someone let me know what what all those colors mean just to make it a little bit easier for me um, and then those ones don't matter da, 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 da. okay well let's have a look at our money so far so tickets gone up from 500 up to 1.7 and this month is still going um, we're starting to make money up on just in general um, da, 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 da. train costs didn't do as well maybe because of buses I, I don't know it could be who knows um, let's see still losing money here but that's because I was still spending so be interested to see what basically I just want to know how much money will be making so you can see it's very close there what's that do oh. <laughs> 1951 1951 1951 1951 anyway um oh we're actually making more income overall now so that's interesting very very interesting but let's go oops let's go back into it um table that's what I was looking for so look at that we're actually making proper money for the first time and that's because we have the proper public transport in place and um, basically what I was trying to do two episodes ago that you guys didn't really like which you didn't understand but now that we've got public transport in look at it go very 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 satisfying to be honest look at this three million dollars from buses yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. And if we zoom out, I wish I could move this out of the way. It's kind of annoying. But um, look at all that. Look at all of that going on. That is satisfying. It's good. It's the start of a, of a, of a decent little region here. Um, so that's it for this episode. But I'm, I'm curious how many of you actually play this game, whether it be the first edition or this one right here. Um, or if there's any other similar games, let me know. I'm always looking out for new games to play, even if it's just off camera. I'm always looking for something. And just quickly before I go, it looks like we're starting to expand the city as well, which is a positive sign. And um, also, I'm seeing less traffic, so that's really, really awesome as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.